sucker rigs are a go-to setup for fall musky fishing. Hold on a minute. So making sure that you're rigging them as safely as possible for when a musky bites to avoid the fish swallowing any hooks. Would you tell me how sucky of a morning it is oh, it's bad. to be in Will's hand <laughs> with four shanks that just go down your spine and now you're hanging over the side of the boat? It's a major part of catch and release. This rig that we're using is a little bit different from the rubber band rigs you may see. It's got a single hook in the nose that goes in the top of the nose, not through the mouth. That allows them to breathe perfectly. You bring the first treble hook back, hook it through the skin lightly. Second one comes back a little further. That gives you an easy breakaway rig. And when they T-bone the sucker, they're usually grabbing it. And you see most of them with the belly facing out if you get a good look at them before you set the hook on them. And those, those hooks will be right in their mouth. Even if running suckers may be a staple component of fall musky fishing, continuing to stay focused and in the zona while casting is always an important advantage for increasing your chances of getting your next bite. So we are having a great time out here. I mean, it's been a hoot. Listen to Baby Z and Will back there, but uh, you know, the weird thing is, we've had this nice weather move in and clouds and we got a little wind picked up and you kind of get into a mode musky fishing where you're just mechanically doing it after a while. We're expecting something to happen, but we almost kind of got to that place where you're just having fun and you're paying attention and you're doing your thing, but you're not expecting anything at all. I saw him come behind it. Big in. Hang on, buddy. Big in, big in. And the funny thing is, I'm, I'm casting out this way, and these guys are casting in shallow, so I, I'm not seeing what's going on over here. And all of a sudden, it's just absolute chaos. He said, got him! Big in. Big old freaking melon head. Get in there, get in the boat. <laughs> hey, dude. Let's do it. I don't care, I love it. I love it. Dude, I saw something barely flash behind it. I was like, I swear to God, I just saw something. I mean, it just looked like a good fish. You see what I mean? I mean, it looked like just a solid fish. Boy, that was out of nowhere. Bro. Did I use figure eight one? That is the best thing on earth when you actually see something go, oh, oh my God. It is just like when Jabba the Hutt eats that frog out of the bowl. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, 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 look at that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I think I literally screamed, I got something. <laughs> you did. That is so great. <laughs> Guys, is it fair to say that number one, that we are us three are BFFs from here on out? <laughs> Experts presented by Amsoil. Okay, buddy, up. Get in your kennel. Kennel up. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. We're gonna get some birds, huh? Good boy. Hey, this is my grouse and woodcock hunting truck. You could tell by how dirty it is. It's that time of year. This truck is kind of a beat around truck. I've got over 120,000 miles on it. Years ago, I switched over to all Amsoil products in this truck, but one of the ones that I use religiously is Amsoil PI Performance Improver. About every 4,000 miles, that's what they recommend. They don't want you to use it any sooner than that or any more often than that because it's a detergent type material. It literally cleans the fuel injectors, it keeps the engine super clean, gives you better fuel economy, gives you less exhaust emissions, and overall, it even takes engine knockout in a lot of cases. This keeps your engine clean. It allows it to run like it's pretty well new. So like I said, about every 4,000 miles, I add a bottle to the tank and the stuff works unbelievably well. You can literally see the difference after you burn a tank compared to the way the truck was running before. So it's called Amsoil PI Performance Improver and it's a must for gasoline engines.